I'm David Orban. I'm the Animal Excellence Manager here at the Cincinnati Zoo and Botanical Garden. A big part of my role is to better understand our animals' experiences. I do that through behavior research, uh, looking at how animals are spending their day, how they're interacting with their environment, how they're interacting with each other. My name is Shannon Jagodinsky and I am a lead engineer at GE Additive. In human care, our animals are, are lucky in a way that maybe they don't have to um, search for food or acquire food or have to really work for it. Um, so one of the challenges that we have in zoos and aquariums is really mimicking that foraging and that feeding behavior that animals um, would do in the wild. We gathered a lot of ideas from our animal care staff. We gave them probably a few weeks to submit their ideas for what a, a new and novel enriching experience could be that we've not been able to design ourselves. The first thing that we considered for this project was safety for the animal and for the zookeeper and for anyone that has to interact with it. Um, and then the zoo's top priority of enriching the animals and then their next priority was making it look natural and like it fits in with their environment. So the GE Additive team really worked with us um, from the start to explain what the capabilities were. They brought in different models, they uh, walked us through a presentation of, of what, you know, how they think about designing and, and what they have designed. The ability to design really any shape or angle or, or um, structure um, that you want with, um, with metal or with plastic. Uh, we learned how really just any sort of texture or we can make it look a certain way. For us in a zoo it's really important that things look naturalistic. So a lot of our engineers like to think about the end goal first and so there are a lot of considerations that go into designing an additive part. Everything from part orientation on the build plate, from powder removal, um, and so all of those things are thought of up front. The final product that we ended up um, selecting for the zoo was a device that disconnects the keepers from feeding to the animals. And so what the keepers wanted to replicate was food that was going to be dispersed into the enclosure at random times. Um, so in order to accomplish that, we came up with this device that sort of replicates um, the image of a tree trunk on the outside. So it was a bark-like structure on the outside. And then inside, there's an enclosure where you can put a bunch of crickets. And from that enclosure, there are a bunch of different tubes that exit the actual piece itself. And the tubes are all different lengths, so that depending on which tube the cricket selects, um, it'll take a different amount of time to leave the device for the animal inside the enclosure to eat. And they really helped us find what was going to be the biggest benefit to us and for our animals, because that's obviously the most important part. Um, so we selected the enrichment device that we did because we knew that it had the broadest application to a variety of species, to multiple departments. And the great thing about additive technology is that you can print multiple of these devices. Um, and so we knew that that would give us, you know, kind of the biggest benefit for our animals and their experiences. One thing that we've been seeing is when we do offer live insects to some of our small mammals, they would be eaten and consumed in maybe a matter of five or ten minutes. Um, now that we've been uh, utilizing these new, this new enrichment device, uh, we've seen that foraging time and that investigation and really that interaction with that device last for up to a few hours, um, which is really exciting for us because um, that means we can uh, utilize it even multiple times in a day or just different in different habitats. Um, and really we've seen that a lot of animals have been interested in it and continue to stay interested in it, which is what we wanted to see. One of the great things about working with GE Additive is they've been able to kind of meet that need for us and make it look naturalistic. So this enrichment device is going to look like a log. It looks like bark um, and branches and um, it will blend in better with our environment. Um, so people might notice that it's there, um, but they might just, they'll probably feel that it's just a normal part of the animal's environment.